So much of what we do here as far as choosing the repertoire is about taking dancers and putting them in new roles or you know, meeting new, new partners, exploring for them, extending their range, and, and working on it in this environment. To, to do new things for me and with new partners is always exciting. Um, I didn't imagine that I would have this uh, chemistry with Lauren. And just on the, <laughs> just on the first <laughs> rehearsal, we, we did the uh, run through and it was beautiful. Both Damien and I come at Ruby's from our perspectives and we kind of tag team with, with Herman and Lauren. So we try to build on that with, with love and knowledge and with the idea that she is going to take with her new ideas to apply and pass on. Well, they, they, the knowledge they have is incredible. It's like they're, they're jewels in this uh, field. And not only that, it's that the way they teach you, the way they tell you things is so loving, so they care for you. It's not just a correction. You get into the studio and you know they're catering it to you, specifically. They just know how to put the finishing touches on things, which is, it makes it fun to perform because you have these interesting things to think about that you never thought of before. Sergei Polunin was coming from Moscow to dance. He wasn't bringing a partner, so that's a great opportunity right there to say, okay, so what's that gonna be? Uh, and we thought, well, let's pair Tyler Peck with Sergei. They've never met, no, no connection whatsoever. And we'll put them in a ballet, they both dance, so that's understood, but then we'll figure out in the short time we have how they might fit together. You know, when I just met Sergei a day before we were dancing together, I didn't really know what was gonna happen out there. It's actually quite nice to do that because you don't get too nervous, I guess, and it's a lot of improvisation in performance because you're not too over-rehearsed. And also, you know, it was, uh, we decided on Le Corsair, which is certainly more in uh, Sergei's wheelhouse, you know, kind of like as a Russian classical ballet star, former royal ballet. Uh, but Tyler has danced it. But she obviously is going to bring something very 21st century with the aesthetic that we've worked on. And that could be interesting, it could be challenging as she meets Sergei, who might have a more traditional approach. Since Corsair doesn't feel that comfortable to, for me, they try to make it seem like it's not so classical and that I can just dance it the way I feel. It was a wonderful meeting and partnership, and I think everybody gained something from it, and it had a very high level of risk, which we like. I got to dance with Isabella Wilson from uh, American Ballet Theater. We did Stars and Stripes together. We never danced together either. She has oodles of charm. She has tremendous facility and a beautiful physique. You know, she relished it quite clearly, and she came out, you know, really loaded for, you know, the enthusiastic qualities that one that requires. But also, it was about how you dance. You know, and Stars and Stripes is a showpiece, but it's all about how you dance. I wanted to create a new piece exploiting some of the wonderful kind of mixtures that are possible. In this case, it was the idea of a tango trio. Do a tango, it's, it's in my blood. It's, you know, part of my, my culture, my country. I arrived two days ago and with no information, no material, don't know the music. Straight from the airport, he stopped at Vail Mountain School, started tangoing and they started to learn what each had to offer, and by Saturday night we had a piece. The Gabriel, we put together the pattern of how we won, you know, one first, then the pas de trois, then the solo, and now Damien is helping um, with his view from the audience. 